So a couple of years ago, I was introduced to Junji Ito's works, and I've been reading through, I have a number in the house. Some of the artwork style you can see, I don't know how clear it is, but if you haven't read any of it, Uzumaki is incredible, but all of them are incredible, to be honest. And so I went into this anime with an idea of what it should be like. I did go in with a little bit of trepidation because sometimes manga into anime doesn't quite work. At the same time, I knew this was many stories rather than one singular, and I wondered how that was going to work. Did it turn out okay? Let me know your thoughts and comments down below as to what is your favorite Junji Ito manga and which is your favorite episode in this series. Let's jump in. From the mind of horror manga, Junji Ito comes a spine tingling selection of some of the most bizarre, disturbing and terrifying tales. So though it says there's 12 episodes, there are actually 19 because some of the episodes have a double double helping of craziness and i felt like this anime in particular as is the tradition with uh jinji aito's well a lot of his manga novels is that as you start reading it you have hope for the characters to survive but then you will spiral and <laughs> see what i did there out of control into a dark abyss of monsters and things that you couldn't quite describe only things that you would have in your nightmares somehow translated onto page it's taking stephen king's mind in his worst drug-induced nightmarish fuel and then having that combined with someone on acid that's kind of what you get with junji ito uh, stories and so this one it gives us a little bit of false security as to oh maybe it's not going to be as crazy as that if you're watching the first episodes uh with the strange hizuri how do I pronounce this? Hikazuri twins. Then you might be thinking, oh, this is fairly tame because you start off with a seance, a, a, a crazy Adams family type of family who have lost their parents, and there's a there's a the oldest son is slacking off, and he wants to get a girl. He invites her around. She's interested in the supernatural, and they have a seance, but things do go quite wrong in the way of the seance. But that episode was very tame compared to what is available. The, the helping of craziness that we get within these 19 episodes. And I think everybody's, I guess, personal favorite or scariest or weirdest is it's going to come down to what you personally like or what scares you. Because there's a helping of different stories. A lot of them are like the morals of the story. Like you shouldn't eat too much. You shouldn't be a pig. You should do your homework there are a lot of things like that in here that it picks up and then embellishes to a massive degree for example the episode with the ice cream man who had the glowing yellow eyes you kind of know not to trust ice cream vans you know it's like telling a kid don't get a sweet from a visitor in the park sorry to all the ice cream men out there but there's always been that air and so when you get that bit with the kids licking all the ice cream and you're like, oh, what does that actually mean from them? You know that things are going to go weird, but it does kind of spiral out of control and get much weirder. So you catch up in episode five and six, where episode five intruder, which I thought was very interesting. Mold, uh, episode six. Mold was the one that kind of I reminded me a lot of his other works as it gets darker very quickly. But there is a progression in this. Now, I think the animation itself is, is great and lends itself to the manga as well. A lot of people having very porcelain white facial structures. And then when you get the darkness, you sometimes see them kind of dipping in and out of a different type of animation style. The score as well is very melancholy. I think people are going to have, like I mentioned, their favorites, but I don't know that this is going to be everybody's cup of tea because I know that even fans might want a continuous story. I didn't mind it so much. I think because they're quite long, some of them dip that 25 minutes a piece and, and give the whole episode that story structure. Do let me know in the comments below what is your favorite. I think the creepiest for me was Hanging Balloon. There's a lot of time in these episodes, there seems to be no hope. And if that is something that you struggle with, this is more the moral of the story. And then cool, a lot of the episodes will kind of leave you hanging. It will just end. But you can kind of guess where 
it's going or what's going to happen next. And I think that's fine because we can p put the pieces together. There's going to be no hope for some of those characters. The moral of the story. You know, I keep coming back to that, but that does lend itself. We used to get those kind of airy Indiana episodes. I know I'm going way back now. Eerie Indiana where each episode was kind of the moral of the story. A kid would be a glutton, a kid would be a little brat, and they would learn in the worst ways, and then leave you thinking, going, yeah, maybe I should be nicer. Kind of bringing all those moralistic terms out, bringing your nightmares to the forefront. So Hanging Balloon was mo one of my favorites, just because of how creepy and weird it was. Some of them seem to have no rhyme and reason for the thing to happen that happens. There does seem to be a lot of culture law as well, and I think that's all put in there. So as a, a helping, if this is your first foray into Junji Ito's world, I think you're going to be in for quite a shock after that first initial episode of this is not so bad, then it does go out there. There is also some episodes that connect to others, which I really liked, kind of bringing back the, the kid with the nails at the end, which was pretty cool. And if you look at the end of the credits, like right at the end, there is a kind of getting you ready for the next episode dialogue moment. And that kind of connects each episode to each episode. When we get the next Junji Ito uh, anime, I do hope though, maybe we could get a short anime, like six episodes of an, a contained story. I loved this i you know i think it's fantastic mental weird and creepy all the things that you want from a junji ito anime the music the score the dialogue the creatures within the creepiness within hair another episode i thought was fantastically weird so many of these episodes lend itself to nightmares coming to real things that you never wanted to see on screen really but you can't help but look uh, it's that sort of foray into the nightmarish world that is Junji Ito. I think it was, it, it's pretty good. It's fairly well paced. Each episode is quickly, you know, you flick onto the next. Sometimes you get those two. Sometimes it ends abruptly, but you know what's going to happen. I think this is exactly what you expect it to be if you're a fan of Junji Ito. If you're not expecting it, expect a world of weirdness, wackiness, sometimes comedy, but mostly horror and poignant episodes kind of have a meaning behind it i'm gonna give this four nicholas cages out of five and <laughs> you got one congratulations let me know your thoughts and feelings down below i would have given it five but sometimes i just want a contained story with a number of episodes so let me know what you think about this anime down below kind of a hard one to review i think you would have to go into individual episodes and review those and maybe rank those maybe i will go down that you know there was that one that was kind of the sandman's lair the dream world different take on the sandman which i thought was pretty good uh, episode four is where i think we first see the kid that is annoying his brother pretending to be a poltergeist and we come back with that character at the end um, so there are con connections throughout but i wanted more does that make sense so i still thoroughly enjoyed it but i wouldn't mind a contained story like spiral in anime form thanks so much for watching but most of all until next time remember live long tuesday <laughs>